here I am on the New Holland stand. The, uh, the lights are flashing on this vehicle behind me, which is the CR11, the largest combine harvester in the world, and winner, the only winner of an Agrotechnica Gold Award this year here at, at Agrotechnica. So uh, I think it's worth, certainly worth having a look around and finding out a bit more about. This combine is completely new. When I say completely new, 90, more than 90% of the parts is new. That means that behind me here, there is uh, more than 8,000 um, newly developed uh, parts. And we have uh, the, main, the main goal of this project is to reduce the total cost of harvest for our customers. And we're doing this, like you saw, with a much bigger combine, a much more productive combine. Starting productivity, we go from, uh, from the feeder. The feeder channel has, has been made wider to get more uh, material through and also to feed a whole uh, feeding channel, a crop flow channel that is much wider than today. It comes with uh, bigger rotors, bigger, longer rotors that are about 50% longer. And this also allows us to use the rotors to feed directly into the residue system. Those rotors to get more capacity and more, uh, more performance of the machine, we have um, a bigger engine. It's a Cursor 16, it's a, a six cylinder, uh, 16 liter with 775 horsepower which then also to, uh, to keep up with, 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 with the wider headers and, uh, and with the more capacity, we also increase the grain tank to 20,000 liters. And in order to not be, be un unloading all the time, we then also increased the unload rates to 210 liters per second, so the, that big hopper can be emptied in less than 100 seconds. When you have such a high amount of capacity, you also need to process it, clean it, and make sure that there, are no, uh, there is no grain loss. We have given our engineers the task to design a cleaning shoe with zero loss. And I can tell you, they came very close to that, uh, to that fantastic goal. Actually, we call it twin clean, and it's, and it's pretty easy, easy. It's two cleaning systems in one cleaning shoe. We have, a, we have a, a much bigger grain pan. It's wider and it's longer. And from there onwards, you have a first cleaning system. And after this one, you have a second cleaning system. And so the, the whole cleaning shoe is much bigger but it is also automated. It's fully automated. There's almost any human intervention in this cleaning shoe. This cleaning shoe is part of the IntelliSense automation system of the combine. Um, we'll correct, we'll continuously measure and check with different sensors, cleaning shoe load, left, right, fore, after in the, in, in the cleaning shoe. And based on that, whenever it sees anomalies left, right, it will correct. So basically it doesn't correct slope, but it corrects distribution because cross distribution even cross distribution is the most important in a combine the cab also comes with a bunch of upgrades uh, it is newly styled it has new seats and uh, but also the whole control center in the cab has a uh, big upgrade but because we are bringing almost 10 controls that today are on the combine manual controls we bring them inside the cab as remote controls remote controls gives comfort for the operator, but it also reduces the downtime of getting out and making all those controls manually on, around the combine. And secondly, once you are we have remote controls, you can automate them. And that's like, for example, what we do with uh, the residue system or uh, with the cleaning shoe or with the automatic reversing system. 